Okay, alrighty. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Ultra Moon walkthrough. Okay, so I did a little something. Now that we finally reach the Pokemon Center. If you guys remember a few episodes ago, which would be episode one, I did mention that I was going to change up Zerlina's sect because, well, there is an 85% chance that it will be male. So, that's exactly what I did. And on top of it all, now that we've gotten to the Pokemon Center, I did a little something in Pokemon Sun. Take a look, guys. We got a female Zerlina. Yes. Look at that. Female Zerlina going with the name now. And we got ourselves Aaliyah the Pichu. I'm thinking, well, since I caught it in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, might as well capture it in Pokemon Sun and bring her along because I talked to my little girl. And, uh, yeah, she checked out the Alolan version of this Pokemon and she likes it. So, we got our blessing, or her blessing, in this game. And now we have two Pokemon and we're ready to go. So, let's go right ahead. Let's do it. Let's go to the Pokemon school. Let's go to school, guys. It's been a while since I've been to school. Okay, so... What we need to do now is we need to follow Lily, and there she is. It's like, here we are. You see, the trainer school is... Hmm. It's it's a... What in the world? And there is a Tauros. Holy buckets. Okay, so there's a wild Tauros right there. It Well, it looks like we won't be going that way anytime soon, thanks to Tauros there. But we are only planning to go as far as the trainer school anyway. We'll just leave that for someone else to deal with. Come, follow me. Yeah, whatever you say, Lily. Okay, so the trainer school, as many of you guys already know, this is the place where you're going to be learning how to battle. For us veterans, we already know how to battle, but Pokemon Sun and Moon made it in like made it made it to a point where like the these tutorials lasted forever. So yeah. Hey there, Draven. I must have passed you to somehow. Yeah, but welcome to the trainer school and the place to learn how to to be a Pokemon trainer. And, well, Professor Kukui is like, is is this the child you told me about? Yeah, Draven's real a uh, real tough one, too. Put him through the ringer through, uh, through, wait, wait, put him through the ringer. Good, Teach. Oh, wow, okay. Four trainers. You've got to beat four Pokemon trainers here at the school, Draven. The experience will surely help you and your Pokemon grow stronger, yeah? Actually, speaking of experience, why don't you take this? And... Right on time, guys. We got ourselves the experience share, which many of you guys already know since generation, I believe, six, seven. You can use it for the whole team now rather than just one, making it easier for you to actually train different kinds of Pokemon. Now, the trainers who will take part in this lesson may be inside or outside of the school. You may also want to visit our classrooms. You'll learn things there that will help you, your, you and your journey, I'd say. All right, let the lesson begin. She may not look uh, look all that tough, but that teach trains her, her kids right. One of her students is even a captain. If you want a bit of advice from me, here's something that might help. Once you fight a species of Pokemon once, you can easily uh, see what type of moves will work best in uh, your next battle. Wandering about in the tall grass, uh, in the tall grass, meet lots of different Pokemon. I'll help with, uh, with that uh, battle all the time. Oh yeah, okay, so I don't even know if I read that correctly. Okay, so we have to battle four trainers. He has given us the experience here, which is going to make it easier for us. Um, since I transferred Pichu or Aaliyah over from the Pokemon box, it is considered a traded Pokemon. So this is going to be hopefully a little bit easier. And this trainer right here is going to be like, If my precious Bonsly takes damage in a Pokemon battle, I'll want to use a potion on it. Okay, so here we go. Round one. I really do miss the old Pokemon... Uh, the music from Pokemon Sun and Moon. It's just so much better than than this one. This one's a little too calm for my my taste. Okay, so here comes a female Zerlina for the first time. And, well, let's go right ahead and use a Lick Attack. Bonsly is still a, uh, what was it called? A Rock-type Pokemon. But that right there will slow it down just a tad bit more. Here comes the, fe the Fake Tears. And that right there will drop our defense a little harsh to so... May not work too much, but this Ember Attack will cause some damage, and that was a critical hit. That right there is a Flail, so let's go right ahead and do it one more time with an Ember Attack. So there you go. And yes, we are chopping this Pokemon down with the Paralysis, yep. All right, here we go. Finish him, and wow, they got a Potion. 
That recovers a Pokemon right there. And, well, let's see. We gotta go with the Scratch Attack. We gotta use everything in our arsenal because this Pokemon is still a Rock-type Pokemon. Unfortunately for us, we only have Fire and Electric, so this is gonna be bad. We gotta go, we gotta go with a Stab. A Stab. Here we go, Stab. And, yes, we are chopping this Pokemon down. Wow. Okay, here we go. Again. Here comes the Ember Attack. And here comes a Flail Attack. That is chopping us down, so we better be careful. And here comes an Ember Attack for the win. Say goodbye to Bonsley. Alrighty, okay. And, well, we need our care right here. And Zerlina grows to level 11 right there. And it's trying to learn Leer, so let's go ahead and take away a Growl because we really do need something that can, you know, benefit our Pokemon here once it evolves. And, well, we have defeated uh, Hiromi or Hertomi, or I don't even know what her name is. So, let's go go right ahead and brush this Pokemon right here. Got you, you got you to brush him. You got to brush him. And the funny thing is that I'm looking at the screen right here, and I got to look at the computer. I have to look at, well... I, I kind of forget that you can watch the computer right there and what was it and not the screen so there we go we have taken care of our Pokemon why am I looking at the <laughs> oh lord okay so let's go right ahead and she's like you can help your Pokemon win by using items at the right time they can do more than just healing your HP your Pokemon's HP too you even uh, you can even boost their stats uh, and things like that okay that is true and before we do anything, we need to heal our Pokemon because, well, just remember, these guys are going to be a little tougher than uh, than the original versions right here. So let's go right ahead and see if we can find some more items around this area. Not really, just Professor Kukui and Lily. And here we found ourselves this, a potion. So that replaces the one that we just used. And there's no more items right here. Let's see. Ready? And grass, fire, water. Hmm. Um, which one wins again? Which one will win in a matchup between water if water type and a fire type? Obviously the water. Okay. Right, right. Yeah, that's it. You must be a great trainer. I think I am. Does this count as a trainer? And ready and rest right water. Okay, so I think I'm just doing this all over again and which one will win between a okay, fire, fire type Pokémon. Okay, so, yeah, we're, we're not doing anything right there. So, there should be a trainer here somewhere, or they could appear at any moment after defeat. Oh, there it is. Now, I'm getting a lay of the land because I, I need to grab some more items in here. You want to know why I'm standing here? Because I'm the strongest, that's why. I won't even bother battling you unless you can beat everyone else here. Okay, so we got a cocky trainer. We all know what that's all about. So, let's go right ahead and... Um, Take care of business right here. See if we can go through every single door, find everything, and uh, wow, this guy looks like he's uh, okay. So the, these are just simple stuff that you can actually find um, information, PP, HP, Pokeballs, and all that stuff. Type differentials, and well, let's see. What if we go right here? We occasionally ask Professor Kui to run a special class in our school. He's done a great uh, deal of research, research uh, into our Pokemon moves after all. Mm. Ah, you say it. You can't. You don't say it. Alrighty. Okay. So it is about time to go into the next room right here. And she should be a battler, right? And look at your Pokemon. Whether it has any claws or not, it would probably get a kick out of this one. And here we get ourselves a Quick Claw, which will make our Pokemon a little bit faster. True. Oh, I'm getting a message. I'll be right back, guys. All right, we're back. You know who you are. You just messaged me. Calm down, Zerlina. <laughs> Anywho, let's go right ahead and continue our battle right here. So... Oh, you stinking meow. Why do you always love to, uh, to park right here at the base of the stairs? Ah, and here we have an Alolan Meowth, and, well, Meowth is like, yarm, wow. Okay. And here, I don't think we're not going to be going through the door, and... Okay, so that's odd. We just battled two trainers. Or one. What if we can go through here? No, we can't go through here. 
Ah, there is a trainer right there, I think. Uh, some items don't do anything unless you give it to the Pokemon to hold. Okay, so... That is that. So I'm looking for... I'm looking for trainers, okay? I can't go through there. Can't go through here. There should be a trainer... Maybe in the locker? Who knows? And, well, let's see. We just battled her. Should be a trainer right here on the corner. Probably. I don't even know, guys! Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let me check here. Okay. Oh, she could heal our Pokemon! Wow, we just wasted items. And, well, let's see. If you want a bit of advice... Uh, yeah, we're not gonna do that. We already, we already did that. Okay, so, let's see. Can't battle that guy, because he's a grade A you-know-what. We can't battle those kids, because, uh... Unless... If we ask one more time... Okay, um... Okay. Water. Hmm. Again, remember guys, this is the first time I'm ever playing this game. So I'm gonna do this three times, see what happens, and... Which one wins again, and... Grass and fire type. Fire. And... Well, let's go right ahead again. One more time. I'm assuming this is what's going to happen, and which one wind, fire, and water type? Oh, this is the same thing, so... Okay, um... Whatever, um, let's see, what if we go through this door right here? We should be able to find something. There's grasses, and we can find, uh, Pokemon right here, so let's go grab this. Here we found ourselves an antidote, which will take care of any kind of poisoning, and... Look at that, found ourselves another, or a paralysis heal. Which can heal paralysis. And here we have a Pokemon trainer. And he's like, I'll show you my grammar's best move with poison gas. I'll poison everyone that comes at us. That kind of sounds like a fart attack, okay? That sounds like a fart attack. And he is looking... Another Youngster Joey. Seriously, that must be the most popular Youngster out there. And here we have a Grimer. And here comes Zerlina. Let's do it. Zerlina. Let's get it. And, well, let's go straight for a fire, uh, an ember attack. Now, remember, in this game, this Pokemon, Grimer, is both a grass, or no, 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 a poison and dark type Pokemon. Um, from what I remember, in Alola, it is the clean version of a Grimer and Muck. It is the recycled version of it. So here we go, ember attack. And just like that, for the win. And that is two trainers down, and another youngster, Joey. That we have defeated. Yes, sir. And, well, let's see. Grass type Pokemon are immune to powder moves like poison uh, powder and sleep powder, but you can still poison them with poison gas. You mean fart attack? The fart attack. I wonder what kind of Pokemon. Oh, you know what? I think you can find Pichu here. The reason why I exchange or why I, uh, well. The reason why I went for a Pichu on the Pokemon box is because of the experience uh, the experience it could gain, the extra boost. Plus, I kind of want to evolve it a little quicker than, than usual because in the Alola region, you can evolve this Pokemon into a very, very, very special one. And, well, I'm assuming that you'll be able to find a trainer here in this room. Let's see. Ah, here we are. Look at my Metapod. It's got an Orin Berry. Ah, so there it is, guys. Three. Alrighty, here we go. Taking on preschooler Mia or Maya. Mia, Maya, any Mayas out there who's watching my channel? If you are, uh, help me out here. Seriously, what, how do you pronounce this name? So here we go, Zerlina, yet again, ready to go with an amber attack. And well, as we all know, Metapod, weak AF, two fire type Pokemon, and that's how you take care of business right there. There you go, and that is three right there. Three trainers. And, well, let's see. Talk to her, and she's like, I'll give you some Orin Berries, too. They're great to have your Pokemon hold. Which is true. Now, remember, guys, the only way your Pokemon can heal itself is if the item itself can be uh, can be eaten. Not man-made, you know? So, we're coming up on that time limit, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, we're back. So, let's go right ahead and continue on our little adventure right here, guys. And, uh, well, right here. And since we have defeated three trainers, we can battle this cocky little guy. 
But before we do any of that, we're gonna go heal to our friend, uh, Lily, and, uh, see... This actually works. She's gonna be like, okay, take care of poor Litten. Don't forget Aaliyah, okay? Don't forget Aaliyah. Wait, hold on just a second. Hold the Okay, hold on. What am I doing right here? It's like I forgot how to play Pokemon. Remember, guys, I just came back from, uh, talking again, so let's see. Okay, so it's getting experience points. I just want to make sure of something. You always got to triple check, guys. So let's go straight to the bag. And here we are. And yeah, it is on. Okay, so it's on. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's go. Uh, let's go kick this guy's butt. And uh, I, I kind of have a feeling that he's going to be, you know, he's going to be that dude. So let's see. Let's do a little strategy right here. Give this, give this item to Zerlina. And just to be safe, let's go with Aaliyah right there. I know it's a fast Pokemon, but eventually you're going to need to equip it with something. Now, let's start with this guy. He's looking at us. He's going to be like, Looks like you beat everyone else, huh? But don't think you'll beat me the same way. Ekans' ability is going to get you. He's got an Ekans. Alrighty. And here we go. Rising Star Joseph. What makes him a Rising Star? That is my question. So here he comes out with an Ekans, and, well, let's see. Zerlina. Let's get it. And here comes an Intimidate, and, well, that will lower our physical attack right there. So let's go right with an Ember attack. And that right there, yes, will take a, a nice chunk out of this Pokemon's HP. And, well, we're getting wrapped, so that right there, I think we're going to be, like, stuck for quite some time. Probably, I don't even know. Okay, so let's go straight for an Ember attack. This should this should win us the game. Yes. You see? He's fine. Yeah, buddy. And, well, Aaliyah has grown to level 9 without doing a single thing. And, yes. Here we have... Well, we, we're going to have to uh, groom our Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead. Brush. Brush, brush, brush. You see? The more you do this, the more you feed it. It's uh, the beans, guys. It's gonna, it's gonna start doing things by itself, like AI for Pokemon. And uh, well, I can't wait to start doing that. Okay, the affection levels too. Hmm. Okay, so it's like intimidate is an ability that lowers your opponent's attack stats. If you understand your Pokemon's abilities, you can use the best strategies in battle. But fine, whatever. I can admit it when I'm beat, I'll give you a reward. Even take this uh, technical machine, and here we get ourselves, guys, the TM01 workup. This right here will uh, raise up, uh, what was it called? All its stats, I believe. It's physical stats. So technical machines teach new techniques. They'll give your Pokemon new moves, flash. But if your Pokemon can't learn the move in a TM, it would end too bad. You're up, uh, you're up the creek, pal. Second thing about the, to know about the TMs, you can use uh, TMs as many times as you want, as many different Pokemon as you want. They don't wear out or get used up. Pretty nice gift, uh, gift uh, for me, yeah. I, I miss this, I miss that. And Lily's like, oh, that's a school bell. Attention to all students. Would Draven please come to the office instead of the second floor? Oh, crud. What terrible thing did you get called in for? You know, back when I was in grade school, holy crud. There was a history. And, uh, well, let's go, let's go ahead and see. Let's, let's go ahead and see what the, what, the, uh, what the principal has to say to us. I mean... I can count out the amount of times I've been to the principal's office, and uh, was it worth it? Yes, it was. It was. Turned out to be a good kid, right? <laughs> yeah, a good kid who plays Pokemon at in, in his 30s. And, uh, well, let's see. We're going to be checking out doors. I kind of feel like there's only, like, one thing you can see, you can do here. And here we have Slowpoke's Yawn is a move that can put your opponent to sleep in a battle. When a Pokemon is asleep, it can't do anything until it wakes up, so it can give you a chance against Pokemon you're having trouble with. Hmm. That is true. Mm-hmm. And, well, let's see. Oh, yeah. There's two doors right here. Again, looking for free items, guys. And, well, we're going to... Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, to begin, trainer status, abilities. Uh, okay. So, we're talking about abilities. It's just cool. I do have Pokemon with abilities. Uh, as many of you guys already know, uh, my little pup picked this up. Here, you can take it. Got ourselves a potion. Um... 
Pichu or, you know, Aaliyah has static, which will automatically paralyze any of its opponents with a phys if it gets hit, if it hit physically. Wow, can't pronounce stuff. Abilities are basically special. It's skills all Pokemon have to that can make special things happen. Take ability called Limber, for example. Any Pokemon who has that ability won't ever be paralyzed by an opponent's moves. I wish I could do that for everything because, you know, your boy always gets, yeah, he always gets uh, paralyzed. It's kind of annoying. All right, so is this the principal? Yes, it is. Draven, I can't believe that you beat all my students. Fantastic. After seeing such a performance, I think I'd like to battle you myself. What do you say? Are you ready to take me on? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. I hear. Uh, I hear about. Uh, I hear. I heard about you from Professor Kakui. I'll be challenging you with the Pokemon that has a type advantage against Litten. So ch you choose. As oh wow. Oh crap. Baskets. Uh. Why? Look at her. She's like Teacher Emily. Okay, let's go. And she is going to be coming out with a Poplio. Many of you guys already know that I called this Pokemon Joker. Don't know why. So, hmm. You know what? Lick attack. There we go. And here comes a water gun attack. Now, this is going to be... This is bad. Holy buckets. Okay, so because of that... Yeah, we got ourselves the Orin Berry, so that right there will help us out just a little bit. Let's go with one more Lick Attack. I do have a... Yeah. Oh, crap, Baskets. We're, we're gonna go! Okay, so that is bad. We need to switch out our Pokemon right here. We need to go with Aaliyah. And she does have a move that can actually win. So here we go. You're in charge, Aaliyah. And here comes a Water Gun Attack. Come on, stay, stay. Okay, so its defense is not that great. Let's go straight for a Thundershock attack. And that will paralyze Poplio. Here comes a Water Gun attack. And... Okay, so... We need to heal up our Pokemon. Since Poplio is paralyzed, this will give us some type of advantage. It can only hit us one time or twice or something like that. So here we go. And here comes a water gun attack. Holy buckets. This guy is gonna... Holy buckets. Oh my god. Okay, so... We can hit it with one more Thundershock and hope to god... Yes, we got a quick law. That it stays paralyzed. And... Oh my god. Okay. So that is the end of Pichu. Oh crap, Vasquez. My... My little girl, Aaliyah, is going to kick my butt. Okay, so here we go. Alright, so... Let's see. we got to heal up our Pokemon. And... I believe one good hit can actually do the whole trick. And... Okay, so here comes the water. Why aren't you staying paralyzed? Buckets! Five minutes later... Okay, so we're back, guys. We want a rematch. I am not going to read this. Let's go. Let's get it. Come on. Bring it. I want my revenge. Nobody does that to Draven. Nobody. Okay, so we're taking on Teacher Emily. And this is right here. This right here is teaching you how to be very strategic. Okay, so I'm going to be strategic. I probably not. And, uh, yeah, Zerlina, my bad. Okay, here we go. It's time. Let's go with the Thundershock, and here we go. We're going to try and paralyze this Pokemon, and here comes a Water Gun attack, and, well, luckily for us, we, we did, well, we did, we, we kind of did do something to make sure or to ensure that we're not going to get defeated that easily ever again. Okay, so there we go, another Water Gun attack, and, ah! Okay. So... Zerlina. We better hope to God this works. <laughs> okay. Work up. Time to do it. Here we go. This is a Super Saiyan attack. KO Ken. And this will increase our attack, special attack, and everything. Okay, so here comes a water gun attack. And like I said, we've ensured our, uh, our victory. Alrighty. As you can see. Bam. One hit. 
That's it. That's all it's going to take. And... No! <laughs> Approximately 10 hours later. Okay, we're back. It's time. This time, we brought reinforcements. Okay. Nobody does that to me. Twice. Okay. So this is what's going to happen now. We got five different Pokemon, but one of them makes a difference. Let's go Magneto. That's right. The steel and electric type Pokemon. Let's see you spray me with water now. And because of that, we got Thundershock. We got Thunder Wave. I am going to mess with you. Buckets. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> And that was super effective. Let's go right ahead and use a Thunder Wave attack. And this better not be a critical hit, because I swear to God, I'm going to go crazy. Okay, here we go. Thunder Wave. All right, time to eat that. All right. All right, let's see. Yes, I caught Magneto off screen because, well, it's a Pokemon we definitely needed for this particular situation. And, well, let's go ahead and heal him up. And yes, you are. What? <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna add to the suffering of this Pokemon. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. So, let's go with a Thunder Shock. We are faster. We are mightier. Eat this Thunder Shock. That's how you do it. Gattaca. Okay. And yes, we're gonna care for our Pokemon. Magneto grows to level 9 because, well, it's our savior right there. And Slowpoke without doing anything. Level 7. Teacher Emily's just give me back my money. Okay, so this Pokemon right here, of course, uh, needs to be dried out. So I am drying this Poke... I don't think I... Okay, that's not the right one. Blow dry. There we go. Thank you, Magneto. You're awesome. You're great. Why do I not have you on my team? Well, I already I already planned this team ahead. I'm sorry. I know many of you guys want to be logical and stuff and like be like, no, nah, Draven, you should be using this Pokemon. No. Can this Pokemon eat? How, wait, how does it eat? Okay, never mind. Let us move on right here. Alrighty. Okay, so after defeating the principal. Nice, maybe you'd like to take over as a teacher. All joking aside, though, I want you to take these from me. It's a little reward for beating me. And there we go. Five great balls. Seriously, you should be giving us a medal, a trophy, and everything. They're great balls. Great bars are better than catching Pokemon and normal Pokeballs. And Professor Kukui and this person right here is going to be like, Know your Pokemon and uh, know their moves. Uh, those are basics of being a trainer. How about it? And greetings, Captain I Lima? Yima? Here? I couldn't, uh, I couldn't help but to observe your battles. You looked so delightful, uh, delightful in battle that I had no choice but to summon you here. This is Draven, who moved here uh, to Alola from the Kanto region. He's got a real sense of how to use moves, and I think he's going to go far as a trainer. Yeah. I see. Then welcome, newcomer. I look forward to seeing, seeing the brilliance of your moves in my trial. Indeed, we captains are the ones who conduct the trials you face on your way to challenging the island Kahuna. My trial is held in Verdant Cavern, the trial of Captain Ima or Lima. How do you pronounce this guy's name? Comment down below, guys. And is it a male or a female? Does it identify as... Seriously, help me, eyes. Uh, you can find Pokemon living everywhere, even in the patches of grass in uh, tall grass in Hauuli Hau City. Perhaps you want to fill your po your team a bit before attempting my trial. Bring it on. I sincerely look forward to your challenge. Bring it. Oh, yeah! I reported uh, to the folks upstairs uh, that the Tauros blocking the uh, way in front again. That's uh, That guy's Tauros is pretty much a celebrity here in Mele Mele, you know. Well, I guess it's time that we dismiss you from the school, Draven. And the bell has rung. Yes. Attention all students, Draven has completed his lesson at the trainer school. Finally, it took three episodes, but finally. Be good to your Pokemon and try to follow through those uh, status conditions too. Good luck with your island challenge. Have fun and give your Pokemon any berries you find. Draven, enjoy your island challenge and be sure to use the skills you learned here as in the Pokemon school. Good luck, future champion. 
Make sure to use that TM. Make your Pokemon the strongest. And uh, let's see. Show them what you're made of, Draven. And Lily here is going to be like... You seem to be perfect in perfect sync with your Pokemon Magnemite, aren't you? Um, since we've come this far together, why don't you, I show you more of the city? Come on! There's a lot to see. Believe it or not, guys, there's a lot more tutorials here. And, well... Look at this. We're stepping outside. Lily's just... What's going on, Lily? Draven, over here! And we're walking. We're walking. We're walking. You know, I was really impressed seeing you how you battled uh, with your Pokemon at the trainer school. It feels like you're really giving it your all for your Pokemon's sake. I think that's why you were able to save Nevia that time, Draven. Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot about Tauros! Well, we got a Tauros to tame. Look at that. More! wants more. Oh, if it isn't Lillian Draven. Sorry for scaring uh, you, friend. I guess it's time I get the old Tauros back home. Oh, but I've got an idea. Why not give him a little pat, Draven? Okay. So, let's go ahead and give him a pat. Can I, get, can I give him a, a karate chop? Seriously. Where are you trying to pet him? Uh, let's see. How about his mane? And... Doesn't seem to be impressed. Okay, never mind. I guess it's face. Okay, so I liked it. I'm not gonna go for the tail, guys. Haha, <laughs> you see that? This rascal already loves you. Pokemon become happier when you show them some care. Hmm. Yeah, my Pokemon do not like me right now. Including Zerlino. My bad. <laughs> oh, the place you'll go, child. And as you do, you will surely meet more Pokemon and people uh, who will enrich your life. Nice guy. The Kahunas are sure are something, eh? Able to calm a raging Pokemon without even needing it to battle. Now that's something. I mean, I like Tauros plenty and all, but it's it's pretty scary, and I don't want to ride on it. Hmm. So where are you two off to now? I was thinking I should show Draven uh, around Holy City a bit. Nice idea. You're always on top of things, Lily. Draven, just go here to Alola, huh? Or just got here to Alola. Then let me tag along too. I want to get uh, go get something to uh, good to eat. Me too. I am hungry. All right, let's go together. Then that's where we're waiting for. That's this. Let's come this way. So we're running, we're walking, we're doing our thing. Yes, we're doing this. And uh, well, oh how? I guess we should go catch up to him before he gets too far driven. Holy city is the biggest city in all Alola. It is. Okay, so. We're gonna go back to the Pokemon Center because I think that's yeah that's what we need to do. Um, we got our butts kicked quite a few times. It's best that we stop right here. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue our little tutorial videos right here in the Alola region. See you guys.